I'm gonna say this. I ain't really since I've been with my man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really had time to worry about these hoes. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day, this is who I gotta worry about. Okay. My kids, is who I gotta worry. About. That's who I see every day. Like my circle has kind of depleted. I don't really have no up close. Like I'm around people all day. I'm around them all day. That's what's you up. know, so if they hate and they hate, and I don't know, I try not to feed into it. I try not to go looking for it if they send something because I had a situation and I seen it online and I seen the hate and I seen them talking about this and I seen them talking about it, it hurt my feelings. But he said the key thing if you can't handle it now, you ain't gonna be handle it when you get where you're going because yeah. you're going somewhere, obviously, because it's coming at you like that. Correct. So I don't, I don't pay them no mind. I flip my hair, soft smirk, <laughs> and I go to work. What's Sam. good, y'all? We here. I talk gray. I got two dope slamming guests from Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. All right. All the way down here for Lottie Dottie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, let me take my Come on. Being rude. All the way here. I see. I mm-hmm. see. Y'all was in LA the other day. Turn it up. No. Oh, somebody was in LA. <laughs> oh. I was. Yeah, yeah. My, my bad. Somebody was in LA. Yeah, I was out there in LA. Okay. Yeah, it was nice out there. That was my first time being out there. What you had going on out there? I was just visiting my family, you know what I'm saying, just making connections. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. So how was it, man? Man, it was, it was, it was nice. It's a, lot, it's a lot of love out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they got a lot of... You got a lot of love out there when yeah. you was there? Yeah, most definitely. You know so Tino Music. No, Tino, Tino B. B. Sorry. Yes. Tino B. Yes, sir. Tino B. How you get that name? That's, that's actually my first name. You know what I'm saying? My name is Tino Tino, my last name, Brascom, so I just went short with it, Tino B. Hold on, your first name is Tino? Yeah, my first name is T-I-N-O-T. But Tino. not T-K-N-O. All right, I just spell <laughs> it. Like, my, like stage, a- my stage name, my stage name is spelled different. It's T-K-N-O oh. space the B. So is there a meaning behind that? Uh, trust, in no, trust in nobody. Mm. You know what I'm trust, trust in, in no nobody. Woman. Yeah. Except your woman. Right, right. So y'all together, y'all item. Yes. Sure. Okay, That's okay, exactly okay. That's exactly what we are. Cooler We're B. More than together, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stuck together. <laughs> so tell me how y'all get together. Woo. You gonna tell ago. <laughs> nah, because you see it differently than I see it. You know. I see it was a couple years back. Um I'm out here doing my thing in Tampa, you know, hitting uh-huh. the local scenes and stuff like that. And he had stepped on the scene. However, his manager at the time seen what show was it? Um out there. It was late, we were in Lakeland. Lakeland. Yeah. It was in Margaritas. We yeah, were at a Lakeland. showcase in Margaritas. Mm-hmm. So we both entered this showcase and he performed. I performed. I won the showcase. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And I make you feel no way? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. That's no, what's up. I like that. You know, it was just that night. You just had to be there to see it. Okay. I was so. just uh-huh. getting on the scene. So, you know, I didn't really know, know nothing. So, like, I wasn't. Looking, you were still fresh to the scene. Yeah, I wasn't really looking for competition or none of that. I was just happy to hit a stage and, and you know, get your feet wet. Right, right. Okay, and you exactly. could tell he was because he was just this different. I was on when he was on the stage. He was acapella rapping and stuff. I was right there next to the stage, just watching, paying attention. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, I hear you. You know, when, when we left, I was like, um, I think I walked up to you or something that night, and I was like, I heard you. Yeah, was or whatever. Rapping. He was okay, outside, and okay. I was like, I heard you. Boom, boom. So you was liking his style. Something like that. But you know what's funny? We were in the same, we were at the same building a Friday prior to the situation. Mm-hmm. And we have a picture together, didn't even know each other, same mm-hmm. arm pose and all that. He's standing behind. Synchronicity. Me. For real. Okay. Like I was like, wow, that's spooky. But anywho, then, that's alignment. That, that, yeah. that, that was my, that was actually my first show ever. And that was uh-huh. temple. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. So then we decided, well, his manager seen me in the store. She was like, okay, I'm going to hit you up. I want to get you on the track with Tino B. I'm mm-hmm. like, who is Tino B? You know, I forget, or whatever. Oh, yeah. So she hit me up, and they, she got with people, whatever, whatever. We seen each other at another showcase. I introduced myself, and I was like, okay, this is what it is. We hit stage, everything. I pulled up on him. I told him I was going to pull up on him the next day, but I didn't. He reminded me that. I pulled up on him that Sunday. Uh-huh. He was at work, and he stopped work, and we wrote the song. Okay. And See, I had chemistry from the jump. We've been together every day since then. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. I like that. Black love. Yeah. So how'd you get your name? Cool to be. So my grandfather used to call me Cool to be. He like Cool to Brown was a bad, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But he, I took that name, you know what I'm saying? So that was a family name. Then in the hood, that was the name. Mm-hmm. When he passed, I was like, you know what? 
gonna keep that name. Watch. I'm gonna do something with it. Blase Squad tattooed it. Boom. And there you go. Okay, okay. Yeah. So it's heartfelt. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So I see you got like a convenience store in your crib. <laughs> so you Who that thought thing? of that? <laughs> I mean, I like it. Uh, <laughs> How'd that come about? It came about. <laughs> I, I, uh, you know, just got tired of working for other people. And, and you know, so we just had to open our minds up to That's different up. things. Yep. And, and just we, we, we thought about first we were selling like little sandwiches and chips and sodas. Then, then it just took off from there. Yep. Okay, that's what's up, entrepreneurship. Something the kids can see, you right. know, they can be a part facts, of facts. in the house. Something different you know? to the community. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I like that. Black mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. We need more so of that, yes, you know what I'm saying? Right. Especially in our community. Yeah. So who'd you grow up listening to? Me, I, I grew up listening to, my, my, my father, he played a lot of Tupac, Scarface, um, like people around that area, 90, 90s music. Okay. I'm most definitely an R&B fan. Rick, I heard some soul in your voice I don't, when you were spitting. I, I'm all right. I love all the rappers. You know, I, I love rap. I, you know, because I can do it. You know, I love it. Very but well. I am such an R&B head. Mm -hmm. I just listen to all the '90s R&B. Okay, that's that's me. Okay, so does the R&B inspire your raps? Yeah, that and Lil Wayne somewhat. Wheezy. Yeah, yeah the Carter, uh, mainly the Carter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, okay. That's what's up. So you never thought about actually singing because one of your songs I heard you harmonizing on it. You got away. <laughs> that was okay. I was like, yo, okay. <laughs> like you sound like you wanted to get it out. I was so mad that day, but um, <laughs> he tells me all the time. He like, um, you should, you know. I think, yeah. I think he's gonna right. bring it out because he just uh, in the studio we have a little home studio. What? Not little, but I'm sorry. We have a home studio. Okay. And, he been playing with the microphone, and I've been getting in there. I was like, okay, we're going to make an R&B song one day. Like, I, I wouldn't mind, but I'm not there. I used to try to sing in church, but that's uh -huh. church. Anybody can sing in church. Yeah. Anybody. I mean, you got some, you know, Anybody Drizzy can. could do it. You could do it. You got to slap but some like reverb. Everybody's on doing it. I don't want to be like that. Okay, you yeah. want to be a trendsetter. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't want to be on something that the singing, rapping thing that everybody's doing right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I ain't trying to do I mean, I could do it, but what I want to do is if I'm going to sing, it's going to be a whole song. I'm going to sing. I'm going to, we going to yeah. sing. Okay, you're yeah. going to sing. So I got to get some vocal Rita lessons. Rita Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gonna, okay, okay. Give me some vocal lessons. Y'all might hear some singing from Cool to Beat. Hey. Okay, that's what's up. We can't wait to hear that. <laughs> yeah. So when did you start rapping? Um, I started taking rap serious like four years ago. Just four years ago? Just four years ago. <laughs> okay. Told you I bet him on the scene. He was just right. stepping I, out. Like, yeah, so yeah. what made you even want to get into rap? Because you look kind of look like you're supposed to be a quarterback or something. Well, <laughs> that, that was my dream. I always wanted to be in the NFL, but, you know, the way life is, it's just mm -hmm. certain things. But what what made me want to take it serious, um, I had got into a situation and, you know, and, and I had to just open my eyes and, 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 and take a different path because... I was going on that path of destruction instead of taking a path to life. So that's I just up. opened up and, and 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 just went at it. That's what's up, man. One time for that elevation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Elevation. Black man saying, nah, man, I ain't going to do the wrong right. thing. I ain't going to give the cops a reason right. to right. bah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Right. So what's your it's, thought? It's, it's easy to get in trouble. Yeah. Hard to get out of. Yeah, nah, man, you right. You know what I'm saying? So what's your thoughts, I mean, on... Everything that's going on right now with police violence and things like that. Uh, I, I, my thoughts is it's, it's, it's corrupt, but you know this life, and until we come together and come with a plan and and, and you know do do things the right way, yeah. and not just out of emotions, then and nothing to never change. No, you're right, man. We definitely gotta unify. You know what I'm saying? Right. You so how do you out of emotion though? No, yeah, you're right. Because everybody comes together out of emotion. Like yeah. that period of time when no one was getting shot or nothing like that. George Floyd. Nobody was, you know, everybody just chilling, hanging out, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now it happens again. And now everybody's all emotional again. Now he goes to protest again. Those protests should never stop, if right. you ask me. Yes, None of that done. stuff should never stop. Because now they're like, oh, they're going to calm down. We'll get back to it. They're going to yeah. calm down. We'll get back to it. It's not going to stop if we don't keep our foot on their neck. That's yeah. how I see it. Keep your foot on the gas. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your coping mechanisms? I am so sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. But I, the way that sounded, it came out wrong, but I, that's what I mean. We need yeah. to be the ones. Us as a people. Us as people. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 
I feel you definitely with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to keep it going. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, we can't just pause and say, hey, hey, you know, let's get distracted. with right. wop. Right. What do you think about that? I don't cook. I don't clean. But I still got the ring. Let me tell you something. I have no thoughts on. All right, let's put it like this. I, I am a rapper. I don't uh-huh. like being stated as a female rapper. Okay. Because I'm a rapper just like you a rapper. I'm an artist. Okay. At the end of the day. Okay, so when they say, oh, all the, all the female rappers, all they got the office, this and this and that, nah, I can't relate, so I don't discuss. They ain't got nothing to do with me. If that's how they going to get their money, because there's obviously some lost souls out here who want to follow that. Mm. If that's what they want to follow, them follow. Because I'm going to lead the ones who want to go the other way. Right. It's some substance. It's, yeah, I, I don't. I mean, you listen to my music right now. I'm talking about getting some money, <laughs> but I ain't saying I'm sucking this or uh, throwing this. Or, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't saying that, but I'm getting some money. Now, however you choose to get your money, that's on you. Mm-hmm. But I'm just letting you know I'm getting to this bag. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And depending on how you say it, you can tell them to go get something, but you ain't got to tell them exactly how to go get it. You mm-hmm. know, like. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go, go get you some money. Mm-hmm. Go suck. Da, 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 go get you some money. It's a difference. Yeah. I have a nine year old daughter. Correct. Ain't no way you are gonna see me doing something. I wouldn't strangle her for. You understand yeah. me? Well, you speak with integrity. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which I feel like is very important. Because, yeah. like what you said, you can get money, but it's like how you get in the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And those types of things. I just feel like this time that we're in now. Mm-hmm. We're not, yes, there were music back in the day where they had female rappers, guy rappers talking negatively about women, you know what I'm saying? Provocative. But I just feel like the time that we're in now, we don't really need those types of music. You know what I'm saying? I can stick stick that thing on, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. You know what I mean? There's some holes in there. Right. Really? That's that's, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But I I can see it like this. It was like that back then. Back then we had that music, you know? Correct. So... Back then, it set a standard of how it's going to be. History repeats itself. That's what I'm trying to say. Right yeah. now, right now, we in a different time, and it's not it's not a time for that. Correct. It was the wrong you know, time, time to release it. Right. It's the wrong right. time right. to release that. Correct. Yeah. I feel you. So, what coping mechanisms do you use to deal with these hating assholes? I be hearing you talk <laughs> about, you know. Um, I'm gonna say this. I ain't really since I've been with my man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really had time to worry about these hoes. <laughs> That's <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> this is who I got to worry about. Okay. My kids, who I got to worry about. That's who I see every day. Like, my circle has kind of depleted. I don't really have no up close. Like, I'm around people all day. I'm around them all day. That's what's you up. know, so if they hate and they hate, and I don't know. I try not to feed into it. I try not to go looking for it if they send something because I had a situation and I seen it online and I seen the hate and I seen them talking about this and I seen them talking about it hurt my feelings. But he said the key thing. If you can't handle it now, you ain't going to be handle it when you get where you're going. Because yeah. you're going somewhere, obviously, because it's coming at you like that. Correct. So, I don't, I don't pay them no mind. I flip my hair, soft smirk, <laughs> and I go to work. <laughs> no, nah, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to do that. You can't yeah. feed into the negativity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, do y'all critique each other's bars? Or do y'all say, like, oh, babe, that's whack. Like, you need to, you need to do that over. Um, yeah. Like, sometimes... You know what I'm saying? Like if 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 um if I'm doing a song, I I go to her and I ask her like you know, give me your input. How you how you like how you think this sound? She probably like obey oh, now. You probably need to take this out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That'll sound better if you say it like that. You know. Mm-hmm. And vice you know versa. Saying? And vice versa. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So like teamwork, make the dream work. It does. Facts, facts, and plus facts. he make all my beats and stuff, so I have to come to him. Oh, you didn't know? My oh, bad. Oh, you producer too? Yes. yes. I'm going to introduce you to my producer. Oh, <laughs> Tino B Music. <laughs> We're a round of applause for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he makes all my beats. And he makes all my beats. So I have to come to him as like the artist and the producer situation now. And I got to be like, what this sound like? Because I want to do your beat some justice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Am I sliding on it? Am I, am I doing what I need to do on it? Okay. And he'll let me know from a producer standpoint what needs to be said. Or if I'm saying it a certain way, he'll go add another instrument or do what he got to do to make it fit me okay okay yeah. so what kind of element do you be in when you're making your beats uh i'll be in a i'll be in like a chill state of mind like you know high level, high level. <laughs> <laughs> right okay that's what's up man you listen to any other genre of music though yeah i listen to all type of music i listen i listen to pop 
I listen to country. You know, I, I listen to all type of music, house music. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just hip hop or okay. R&B. You know, I open my mind to a lot of stuff. That's what's up. I mean, I mean, you kind of got to if you, especially if you're gonna be a producer. Right. Yes, sir. So if you could work with any producer in the game right now, who would it be? Right now, I say, I say, I say, DJ Quit. Okay. And you went way yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Because nobody, 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 yeah, nobody. Yeah, really know he. Right, no, right, you know right, I didn't even that, know that. That, that is a bad man. Yeah. I, I, I work with DJ Quit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why? He inspired me on a different level with his original and authenticness. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yeah. yeah. No, he, he is a hidden gem. A lot of people don't really know that he's dope. You right. Know what I'm that's that's one that's one of them people that's that's like really that, that was really really doing it back back in his time. Yeah. And I for salute sure. that. For sure, for sure. So so like the the work with somebody that's a legend on a producer level mm-hmm. producer level like that, I will, yeah, I salute that. Okay, that's what's up, man. So if you could work with any artist in the game right now, who would you work with? Any artist? Mm-hmm. Anybody. It's kind of hard to say. Why? Because I hear, I hear myself on my music right now. So where I'm at with this music game, where I'm at for myself is mm-hmm. finding me. And I can't really do that trying to merge with somebody else or... Who do I want? Because there's so many people that who wouldn't want to get a feature with this person or a feature with that person. You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't? But to pinpoint somebody, I can't. I just okay. can't. So you want to get it off your own muscle? Yeah, I want to. I want to find my sound. Like really get in on my sound. Mm-hmm. To before I be like, oh, I want to work with this person. Oh, I gotta work with this person. Because mm-hmm. right now, all I see is working with this person. <laughs> That's what's up. So. That's what's up. I got a good chemistry. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Most definitely. Most definitely. So, tell me about the whole juke era. Was y'all around? I mean, was y'all bumping to that? Yeah. yeah. I know that started in Tampa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The I juke. like that juke, the juke music, you know what I'm saying, the dancing. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's a vibe. It's a, uh, it remind me, it remind me of, of, of G-Funk, like G-Funk era. You know how you got, yeah. you got a lot of instruments, you got a lot of, a lot of uh, percussions. You know, it's, it's a, it's Tampa on vibe, you know what I'm saying, like, like New Orleans bounce, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's something okay. like that. I know. I remember that Juke era. <laughs> all the clubs, well, teen clubs at this time. That just all the dancing, all the moves, and it's just if it's a even at the you know the funeral repasses and stuff like that. Like stuff, you it brings joy to everybody. You can tell they just like doing it. So mm-hmm. it's a sound I don't feel like can be like duplicated. Like yeah, most definitely. That's our sound. It, it needs to. We need to get it out in the open, but that's get it out be, there more to the world. Yeah, it's gonna be a little hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I feel you. I mean, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, merge it in. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not yeah. a juke artist. You don't juke? Yeah. I'm not a juke artist. You know, yeah. I, I like listening to it now because you know I grew up listening to it. But I'm not a juke artist. I probably jump on one of them tracks and slide though. <laughs> 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 now that I would do, but I'm not. I don't see it. He probably can make the beat, but I. I don't see me. You just don't see yourself with that. Mm-mm. Not as my main yeah. situation. I know yeah. I can do it, though. So anybody with a juke song feel like they need a feature, you know, hit me up. <laughs> That's what's up, man. So labels. Do you see yourself signing to a label, or do y'all want to stay the independent route? I'm staying independent. Stay independent, bro. Why? That's the best option now, dude. You okay. know, we... we, we, we we have to look at the the generation before us and and look at their mistakes and and hear, hear them think, saying things like what they wish that they could have did or they wish that they would have stayed independent. Mm-hmm. So it's it's basically your grind and, and your work ethic. Mm-hmm. Like what what you gonna do to make it to the top? Yeah. You gonna look for a handout or you gonna go and get it? Right. Okay. So you know me, I, I I feel like a label a label is good and there's nothing wrong with signing. Sign it to a label, come with the right deal. But as far as in looking for looking for it and, and going trying to make that's the main goal, nah. I, I basically see it personally like building the crowd, building the buzz, building the brand mm-hmm. until the record label like, hey, who is this guy? We need to see who is who is the who is who is cool to be. Who is Tino B? Yeah, look into that. You know, yeah. 
until until that, we got to keep on working. Keep on working. That's what's up, man. Consistency is key. Right. You know what I'm saying? So do y'all see yourself doing anything outside of rapping? Well, truth be What's told, I know he want to rap and produce and, and do a whole lot more. I just want to rap and talk and make it to the movies. So you want to be an actress? Yep. That's why I, when you asked me, you was like, you see somebody, see yourself working with anybody else? Nah, because I got a plan. And once that plan, you start seeing me on TV. Okay. So that's how I see it. So what type of role would you take on? Though? I like. I think I would do great with all the things I've done, been through in my life and stuff. Drama roles, you know. I think drama roles or really. Um, I like Taraji, so okay. I can see the, the 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 pain, the tears, like reenacting things that have already happened. You know, um, just emotion. I, mm. I can see being a part of something very emotional. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. We got to highlight Tyler Perry, you know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> All right. So let me ask y'all a question, right? Do you think it's important where you take a person on a first date? Yeah. You do? <laughs> She's... You think it's important? What, where you take where a person, you take first a person on the first date? Where did you take her on the first date? Uh... Cause she like you do like nigga you took me to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause when we got together, it was just yep. more so like, like she put up to my job, really like. And we got to work from then, and then we yeah. had been friends, and then we just that was just that. So we had been on a lot of dates we didn't know was dates, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it, we never, you know, hey. Okay, so y'all believe in business and pleasure. <sighs> business and pleasure, uh, no. Nah. It's just, it just the way... the way. It's the, a way to separate the, the two. Yeah. Okay. Especially yeah. in the same household. Yeah. With the same kids. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing with that, though? Seeing that the whole COVID-19, kids got to go to school from home? They are going we to school from home. We getting it together. Right. Yeah. You becoming a teacher as well. I definitely became a teacher. Well, um, I give it to her. And it has not been easy. Because I was not put on the earth to be no teacher. But I guess he knew in 2020 I was going to be a teacher. So. Yeah, 2020 and, is the year yeah. of everybody to get their shit together. Yeah, you know but it's saying? not hard. I mean, and with Hillsborough County, they got it so crazy. where they don't know if they're going to go back to school. They're going to stay home. They don't know what they want to do. Mm-hmm. But I'm keeping mine at home. Okay. Yeah. So seeing what's going on with Dr. Dre and his wife, do y'all believe in prenups? Nah. I don't. You say no? Good. So, <laughs> I say it because we come from the bottom together. Okay, but people change when that change starts to stack. But understand, we come from the bottom together. So, if it came to a situation where we had to split, if it was like that, I don't see that happening. Yeah, you don't want to speak that. I don't want to speak Hypothetically. that. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. If that happened, you work and I work. You, that, you, you get what you put in. You, you know, we, we would know what happened. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, I, I don't, um, I can see if he was already a, a millionaire when I met him and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But then yeah, I still. We basically came from the ground up together. That's what's up. That's true love. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you got a lot of females, they want a man that's already complete. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I feel like it's okay if she is already there. You see what I'm saying? I mean, because there's ways to kind of see if a person is just talking or if mm-hmm. they've made any type of action to get towards what they want to get to. You know what I'm saying? So when you was dealing with him, when you saw him, what did you see in him that said, yo? It wasn't what I saw. It's kind of what I felt like. Vibrations. To, to see he was new on the scene. I had been running the scene that, you know what I'm saying? Running around, seeing all this. But I seen him. I gravitated towards the stage. I can hear him. I can hear what he's talking about. Like you ain't on the level even though you just brand new on the scene, you're not on the level of all these other people that's on the scene. So if I was to come from the bottom with anybody, I, I'm not saying I was planning, you know, I went and when I first met you, but if I could, I could see that he was there. He was the, he, I knew he was going to be a man of his word, but then he showed me throughout the course of the year. It's been about four years now. So mm-hmm. everything he said he's going to do, he's going to do it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Okay. So that's what's up. That's what's up. He was manifesting. True. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. He taught me a lot of things about myself that I didn't know. So my procrastination versus his just get it done. Mm-hmm. It kinda like, okay, it, he's what I needed. 
Yeah. Because I be I'm I wasn't consistent with the music at all. I I wasn't. Really? Nah, not when I met him. No. So what make you think that like your reason why you wasn't consistent? To um, you didn't believe or to have a, a stability and have something going on, making sure everything is together. To have a partner. When you have a partner, I had so many people I was dealing with. Uh, home girls want to do music. Everybody want to do music. You know, so much. Everybody yeah, just distractions. talking. Yeah, distraction. Everybody just talking. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Nothing getting done. I really had that drive to get it done. Mm -hmm. So I'm just running in circles. Those circles stopped when I met him. Because it's like, we're not going to go through this again. We're going to get it done the first time. Yeah. And at these years, we've just been, right? We've just been yeah. completing yeah. things. Right. Getting things done. Mm -hmm. And I see it like that. That's what's up. So you consider yourself... A lyricist or a storyteller? I think he's I, I both. Yeah, both. But I haven't really touched it. I haven't really tapped in into the storytelling side. Right now, I'm tapping into the lyricist side. Okay. Yeah, I, I tell my story, but I'm saying like, you know, like, uh, you know how Ice Cube say like, okay. today was a good day, and yeah. the storyline within that, mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. storytelling to me. Okay. No, no, no. You're right. Most deaf. So y'all can spit something real quick? I mean, yeah, y'all got something? I'm a young and never has, so I'm out to get it. Hard life I'm living, trying to write the right decisions. Say patient is a virtue. Believe I'm being patient, slowly stacking this money. Till there's no more chasing, not a stranger to hard times. Here this ghetto rhyme, la badass, motherfucker carrying a deuce fire. Woo! Swear I was a killer, living life like do or die. Don't get it wrong, nigga, I let them bullets fly. Run up on squad, nigga, that be a suicide. Rock a bye, baby, sad son to your mom's now. Grew around killers that a spass out. All I know is shoot it out. Hoping that rap helped me make it out. Woo! Yeah. I like that. Boy, it was going in. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So you ever thought about rap battling or anything? Um, nah. I'm not. I'm no rap battler. Okay. I'm. I'm mainly of a. Uh, I'm mainly like a. I see myself of a chill rap, conscious rapper. You know, I. I, <clears throat> I go for like positive vibes and um. And, and, and telling, speaking, speaking on truthful, truthful events. Mm -hmm. You know, if I if if I ain't really been through it or if, if I don't really have it, I'm not gonna talk about that situation. I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about about things that I've really been through, things that I've seen, or things that I things that I've seen in other people's lives that that probably need to be spoken about. Right. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I like that. We need. Yeah, I like to get the message out to the world. That's what's up. That's dope. So seeing what the NBA is doing right now, and relation to what just recently happened, another black man being shot. Mm. What do you think about that? Um, I, I you like, think that was the right thing for them to do? Like, I'm, I'm not really in tune with the, with the sports and stuff right now. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on on their level. Well, you know, LeBron took a stand. Basically, they say they boycotting mm. the playoffs. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I like that then because they're standing up for something. You know, they're not being, being controlled by by the NBA and what the NBA have going on, they actually standing up and saying, hey, look what's going on in the world. We the, we the entertainers and, and, and we the leaders of, of our people, so we need to stand up and show our people, hey, we're going to stand up just like the rest of y'all, no matter what level we on, high, low, middle, no matter. So I, I, I like that, that they boycotting. Yeah, no, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like something got to change. Something got to change. You know what I'm saying? Something got to happen. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not going to front. I'm not 100% for protesting, really, because I feel like we did that already. Mm -hmm. Like, if you go back in history, you was talking about history, you know, Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying, Rodney King. Right. We done protest numerous times. Right. So I feel like us as black people, you know, we got to come together. We got to sit down and say, yo, this is what we need to do. We got to set a plan. Because if you look at it, who's really going towards the Chinese vote? Which mm -hmm. candidate is really pushing for the Chinese vote? Nobody. Right. Why? Because the Chinese stick together. Mm. Even when this whole COVID-19 situation happened and all the Chinese stores was closed, they good. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because they know niggas is going to come and get that, you know, fried chicken, pork fried rice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they don't stack their money and they make sure their dollars stay within their community. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like if we do that as a people, then we'd be good. Right. You see what I'm saying? We don't need to be out there because we done did that and you got... Uh, 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 people out there doing wrong things you know what i'm saying and getting in trouble because they don't really know how to protest mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's just my personal take on that you know what i mean mm -hmm. but who y'all voting for biden or trump um i'm not participating in that 
Why? Uh, personally, I, I just, I just don't, don't, I don't like to get in politics, and you know, they, they in their own world, mm. and I don't, I don't like to get involved with that. Because whether, whether, whether Joe Biden win or Trump win, I still got to provide for my family. I still got to make moves. I still got to do what I got to do out here in this world. So whatever they got going on in Washington, that's what they got going on with the world. I'm in my own world. Okay. That's what's you? Well, my Are mom you? would tell me, you know, hey, you need to vote. But I asked her, I, I asked her, I was like, well, who am I voting for? Tell me, tell me, tell me who, who to vote for. Mm -hmm. Everybody know. Well, you know, you automatically got to vote for Biden. We got to get him out of the office. And I'm like, okay, because that's who the people voting for. We as people decided. And I can see people say, okay, we as people, we're, we're voting for um, Biden. Everybody is on the same path because we want to get it together. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know. But I know if I was to go to the polls, I would be voting for Biden. For Biden, yeah. okay. and if, if people open their minds, you can have your own country in the United States. This is America. This, you know, what I'm saying when you vote, and you, you, he is the president of the United States. He's not the president of America. So it's mm. it's a big difference in, in facts, facts, in, facts. In that, especially when you're indigenous to this land. So it's like it's a lot of things that people gotta tap into and open up their minds to. You're right. Tap, tap. Man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I like that, man. You, you definitely right. You know what I'm saying? You get a get a clap on that. Y'all see know, what I'm dealing with? So okay, I like that. that. You know what I'm saying? Brothers enlighten. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We need that. You know what I'm saying? We need that. So what projects y'all got out right now? Right now, I got a, a debut album that's out, TV State of Mind, Tino Style. I had dropped that actually last year, June 2nd. Okay. Okay, and me, I got a few singles out. You know, I got a mixtape. It's out. It's on that piff. But I got a few singles out um, on my way. You got Big Stepper. You got Too Much. You, I, oh, we got a single out, too. Play by play. Play by play. Play yeah. by play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you know what's crazy? All of those singles I just named, I got you those beats from him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what's <laughs> up. Yeah. Nah, because you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's making it better now. Because when I was listening to you. I'm like, damn, it be slamming. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. not even knowing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you made it. Right, That's I mean, dope. That's dope. So how do you market yourself separately from being a rapper and being a producer? Um, Because I mainly, I mainly want to be, be an artist. So I don't really market myself as a producer like that. So well, it, that's because it's, it's, that's mainly a, a exclusiveness. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like. It's like so you're only you doing it for certain people. I do it for the world. I do it for the world. I do it for the world. If you know what I'm saying, once the world know. But in the time that I'm in right now, I'm trying to perfect the craft. I'm trying to build up, build up what I got going on with my situation in Tampa. Mm -hmm. So then, then, it, then when, when it's time, when that time come to explode, people are gonna be like, "Damn, he made that beat." Oh, damn, he made that beat. Oh, I ain't, I ain't know. Like it's gonna be a real big effect. You know, when when, yeah. when 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 you just keep stuff in the clutch, that's like an extra clip mm -hmm. that people that people are going right. All right, all right. Like gravitate it. towards. Okay, okay, that's what's up. So Ace Magazine, what's your relationship with Ace Magazine? Oh my God! Shout out to Ace Magazine. Shout out to Ace Magazine. Yes. You're here? Yeah, yeah, we are definitely working with Ace Magazine, and we're just getting our campaign on the go right now. So. Look out for us in Ace Magazine. That's what I'm going to tell you. Okay? okay. 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 That's what's up. Okay. It's your queen, Kuda B. And you can follow me on all social media platforms. Um, C-O-U-D-D-A space B. That's me. What's up? This is your homeboy, Tino B. You can find me mainly on Instagram. That's T-K-N-O underscore B music. You can find my music on all digital platforms. Tino B. No, T B. State of my Tino style. Make sure you go check that out. Shout out to Ace Magazine. Shout out to Ace Magazine. Be on the lookout. Be on there. Yo, I appreciate y'all coming through. Well, thank it you was for having dope. Me. You know what I'm saying, brother? I'm saying, you got the slick Rick going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, definitely, definitely, definitely. Y'all make sure y'all follow them. Make sure y'all click the link below. I Talk Gray. Mr. Williams, we out of here. Peace.